She can be seen on her very own sitcom, Ellen, which airs Wednesday nights at 9.30 on uh, ABC. She can also be seen on Primetime Live on Thanksgiving Day. Please welcome Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Well, they think I'm Reba McIntyre, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, thank you. Very, wow, that was very nice of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you for getting up. When I spoke to you the other day, you know, all stuffed up, and, and you still are, apparently. I still have a cold. I'm sorry. If I, It's actually gotten a whole lot better. I'm feeling better. But it's so funny. When you have a cold, everybody wants to give you advice yeah. on... Like, you're probably going to give me advice right now. Do you have... Uh, no. Okay, no, good. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you do for a cold? I'm curious. What do you do? Um, don't you feed a cold or something? And then, what, then when you get well, keep eating. That's pretty much what a, I do. <laughs> feed a cold, starve a fever, or yeah. starve a cold, feed a fever. See, it's hard to, you don't know. And then right. people say, hot tea with lemon and honey, and they, they always give you all this stuff. And I, obviously, I've had colds through the years, so I've tried everything. Nothing works. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm trying something new that my family has done for years. It's, uh, we call it the, uh, well, it's just nothing but dairy. I'm just all dairy, all the time. All it's dairy? Just, yeah. It's, um, I hadn't heard the that. The three C's, cheese, cheese, and cottage cheese. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> Because, uh, well, my grandparents were German, and the, the, what they would do is uh, sit in a, in a tub of ice-cold water and eat cottage cheese. Oh. And, um, well, they lived on a dairy farm, and they didn't have hot water, but I think it was also a, um, that would a cold thing. I don't, it was just a way of life for them, but it is getting better. I think I am. It's, it sounds weird, but I'm getting better. Yeah, but now, how long have you had this cold? Uh, in March, it'll be three years. Three years. <laughs> yeah, that's... Now that... <laughs> Well, is that a long time for a cold? I'm not really oh, sure. Well, because everybody's different, but most yeah. folks, it's about a week. I'm, so I would think. Really? Yeah. I'm getting a lot of uh, offers for voiceover commercials because to me, Moore's voice is so you know kind of oh, raspy. Yeah, yeah. So now suddenly, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, no, but actually, it, it is weird. I kind of sound like Brenda Vaccaro or somebody. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. How you doing now? I again. <laughs> you should hear me in the morning too. It's very frightening, and it's it's just me. But I just talk to myself when I wake up. But <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ah. No. Now, what do you do when you're not sick? Well, what sort of uh, hobby? What things are you doing when you're not working? Well, it's been three years. The mechanical bull was popular. That was, uh, um, um, I, uh, I, I do all kinds of things. I mean, I, I try, you know what I do? I try to keep busy because this business, you know, I mean, I, you've been very lucky and I'm lucky so far, but it, they'll turn on you. You right. know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, don't you for a second think they won't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh... I don't know. I, I try to have something to fall back on that I could do and still earn a living and, and have fun at it. Like I'm, a hobby? Yeah, well, it's sort of a hobby, but I think you can make a living. I'm, I'm training for the Iditarod. Oh, they and, did um, for the, uh, yeah. the dog sled race through Alaska? Right, right. And it's hard in L.A. There's no snow, so that's kind of... Right. I live on a very short street, and I just have two dogs, so that's... And, um... <laughs> One is rather small, so we just go in circles a lot. Oh, but yeah. Um, yeah, I do that. I feel like you know. <laughs> I watch these things, and people really get into these. These you know, people raise their dogs and train them, and all. And I think you know they love their dogs, but then there's a part of me that thinks it's kind of cruel for the dogs. To, I'm so, it's a huge animal rights. I have to say, Ricky Lake, go Ricky, go Ricky Lake. Did well, you hear that? Well, he got arrested. He's got arrested today. Yeah. Um, Ricky Lake got arrested for uh, protesting fur, and which good for her for, to protest good it. Good for her? Yes, good for her. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to take a chance yeah. and do it. But I think that's good for her. I, I do think that it's wrong to wear fur, but yeah. I think that some people take it so far that, you know, to throw paint on people that are wearing fur, I think that's wrong. Or people that, like, go to Alaska and throw paint on an Eskimos. It's like, that's yeah. what they're wearing, you know. And to go that, you know... <laughs> to go even long. further, some people are actually just, just painting the animals. Like, uh, eventually you're going to be a coat. Um, <laughs> they, they are. They're just trying to cut out the middleman. You oh, know? Just, 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 the poor little animals <laughs> nibbling on some leaves and they're just spray painting them. Just throw paint directly on the animals. I'm a bunny. Um, 
I don't know, but I just I just want to say I think that's great that she's taking a stand. Well, I think Ted Koppel's in jail tonight doing his show. I think he's interviewing Ricky Lake, who's also in jail. Is he so really? The two of them are in jail together. <laughs> Good it's like for a whole celebrity <laughs> night in prison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's go join him. All right. Hey, what, let's, let's take a break and we'll join him. More with Ellen right after this. Be right back. Hot enough for you? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm like talking with the ailing Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, so how's the show going? You happy? You having fun over there? Oh man, I'm having a great time. Yeah. People are people are watching. It's a good show. I, you know, it's uh, we have a lot of competition this year. There are shows that are doing very well. Obviously on NBC you have ER, which is Er. Yeah. Er. <laughs> is that how it's pronounced? I've it's been calling her. it ER. Yeah. People call it ER. Um, yeah. But it's uh, evidently, I guess, short for emergency room or something. It's about uh, um, a hospital. Have you seen ER? Yeah. Obviously, so. they, they must. It's the number two show. It's doing very, very well, and I'm always watching to see what people like to watch. So, although my show is a comedy and it is doing well, if that's what people want to see, what I've decided to do is next to the bookstore that I own, there's a hospital. So, um, constantly in the background, you'll see gurneys and blood. Oh and and it, yes, just to give people what they want, and um, maybe we'll have a surgery every week something yeah. like you know just adam the you know the character on the show will have like appendicitis and i'll have to perform surgery and uh and they have a lot of characters on that show so i feel yeah. like if that's what people like i've added 47 characters to my show really yeah so it's a, you don't see them all some are in the bathroom some are all over but um we have a lot of characters and scarlet is all uh, scarlet's doing scarlet. well too yeah. which i don't get because there's like I, don't, I thought it was just a one-time thing, and now it was Shan Shannon Doherty, right, she, and then I guess there's another woman doing it. There's like so many different versions. It's like the, you know, Roseanne movies or something. Like <laughs> so, everybody's doing a different version of Scarlet. They have the Joey Buttafuoco version. Right. And, uh, <laughs> it's so, um, and you know, and my show. If you like Scarlet, uh, you know, because we're on tomorrow night, and uh, so is that other show. And so, um, I am from the South. I don't know how many people know that I'm from uh, New Orleans, Frankfurt. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, so, so that's sort of like, you know, watching Scarlet when you watch me. I'm from the South, and then, um, uh, well, it is. And then the, there's a horse on the show. We'll actually perform surgery on the horse, I think. Really? Yes. And, um, and I, I, I'll wear draperies a lot of the time. You'll see me just in a, in a or some Venetian blinds, whatever I can find. I'll just have that on, and, uh, and then we'll burn Atlanta. Oh, that's, that's going on. So, but we're doing very well. And yeah, yeah. I hope people watch tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I wanted to bring a clip, and um, I guess you... I can't. No, NBC won't let us show a clip if they it's on another network. They won't let you show a clip from another network. No, well, that's kind of chintzy. We're on After Roseanne on ABC, yeah. but yeah. you know what? Since I can't show a clip of what tomorrow night's show is, I actually brought Dave Higgins, who is uh, Coffee Joe, on the show. Um, Dave, you want to come out? You going to act out a clip? Yeah, a little, little scene for you. A scene from Ellen. I'll get up. Yeah. I don't want to be in it. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because you're not actually on our show. No, well, Jay, sit up. That's okay. We'll move over here if you no, want. We can, right. How about right um, here? Yeah, this is good. But that would be weird, like you're in my living room or something. Actually, this doesn't look anything like our set. But we brought I, a, a photograph pictures. of what the apartment looks like. Um, if, I don't know how to hold, to hold that up for the camera. That's our apartment if you've never uh, seen the show. Seen the show. Kind of dark that's kind of small. You can, it's bigger than that. There you but go. Um, anyway, you some idea. so that's what the apartment looks like. And this is a scene from tomorrow night's show. And um, it's uh, tomorrow night. Adam moves out of the apartment. We've lived together for 13 years, and Adam moves out. So it's kind of a pivotal thing. And the, you really don't want to miss tomorrow night's show. And Joe, yeah. who I don't normally like, uh, I'm so lonely because I'm living alone. I invite him over to my house. Okay. And uh, he comes over and he brings a bottle of Beaujolais, right. and I'm like, you know, you didn't have to do that. It's like the first time I ever asked you over anything, and he's like, it is, you know. Anyway, I don't want to give the whole thing away. Here's right. how it goes. <laughs> Welcome, Joe. Beaujolais for the lady of the house. Oh, you didn't have to do that. It's not every day one gets invited to the boss's lair. Oh, come on, you act like this is the first time I ever asked you over. It is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see how exciting tomorrow night's show will be. Um, 
Oh, man. How are you handling uh, the criticism and the reviews and all that? Good. They've, they've all been pretty good. They have been good. Some are good. You know what's weird is, um, <laughs> it's so weird, I was watching that gossip show on E, yeah. I'm embarrassed to say, and I'm just, you know, making fun of, oh, I can't believe she does that, and then all of a sudden I hear my name, and it's like, <laughs> that's not so funny. I, and, uh, and they said on the show, on the gossip show, that I fired three wardrobe people on the show, which is not true. I mean, we have had three wardrobe people. Right. One person left because it was a union thing and we moved lots. Mm -hmm. And we're on our third person who's great. The second person, I will admit, I, I did have him fired. Um, for good reason, though. Uh, whenever he was speaking to me, he would forget to begin his sentences with, Madam, do you wish that I? And so, uh, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't have it. Now, who, could, who could put up with that? I couldn't have it. And I, and I was talking to my uh, food taster, Gabrell, and I said, <laughs> My second food taster, the first one died, and I said, uh, <laughs> bad Gabriel? batch, yeah, Gabriel, <laughs> bad batch of uh, Rice Krispie treats, but in, <laughs> but you know, the criticism, what's weird is people will say, you know, you, you own a bookstore, but I never see you working in it. It's like, who wants to sit down and watch me do inventory for 22 minutes? I'm not really, you know, it's television, it's not right. real, I don't really work there. And uh, it's so funny that people are so critical, because you look at shows in the 60s, and did they have to say about them the flying nun you know like uh, her flying isn't really believable i just think that the flying i mean that's what in the 60s and 70s you had hallucinogenics and acid and everything i don't think it's a coincidence that we had shows like the flying nun and, uh, you know you have these network executives listening to the pitch mm -hmm, nuns are good could she fly or something man look at my fingers they're funny um but and then you you had all these rip-off shows. You had Bewitched, yeah. and, and then you had I Dream Genie, and it's like, you know, one twitched her nose, one blinked her eyes, you know. And people are trying to say, no, no, they're totally different. One's a witch and one's a genie. It's, they're so different, it's not funny. And <laughs> I, I, just, I think maybe we're taking the criticism to, to serious. I am? Sure. Okay. Sure, sure. No, I'm really not. I'm, no, I'm having a good time with it. Well, you it. do a terrific job on the show. I know you got to go. You're going back to a sick I'm bed. sorry. I, I hate not to be Take your hot tea with you. Oh, I will. And I know I you got you go and, and take care of yourself. I will. And we'll call tomorrow and see how you are. Oh, that's okay. So sweet. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Thanks for Jay. coming by. Bye. Bye.